my students so this is a pallavi ma'am so this video is not about chemistry but some of the students asked regarding the cet exam means how exactly the exam will going to take place okay even some students who are doing the science who are doing the science who are taken the puc science yet they don't know regarding about the cet exam so for that reason i just explain what exactly this exam is and what are all the career options that you're going to get okay uh, this is not in a, a depth i have discussed okay it is simply a brief like a introduction part i could say regarding karnataka cet exam okay please do concentrate it might be helpful for you students okay so karnataka cet exam will be conducted by karnataka education authority means from the karnataka board only or from karnataka education authority only this exam will be conducted and this exam is only for the karnataka students okay and so why exactly the exam is conducted it is because we are seeking the career option in engineering like nursing pharmacy and agriculture like many more career options are there so they can get means they have to write this karnataka cet exam fine so then what are the condition or the criteria or the eligibility for this exam is that so one and a common condition is that you should be a science student means you should complete the first and second pu under science stream either pcmb or pcmc okay so here again the options will change so most of the students will take pcmb and some students will opt pcmcs okay so please concentrate those who have taken pcmcs they are eligible only for the engineering courses okay they are eligible for the engineering courses only so engineering means there comes many like be btech under which will going to get a many streams like electronic and communication cs information technology like so many many branches are there but those who have taken pcmcs in your puc they have to write the karnataka cet exam okay and they will going to write only pcm okay fine those who have taken pcmb means those who have completed second pu with a pcmb they have many more options means they have a four subjects here where the pcm if they consider only pcm marks here they can opt engineering okay or btech if they consider biology also okay if they write karnataka cet of biology subject also they have many more options like this they can go to pharmacy yoga ayurveda like agriculture bsc in agriculture you're going to get bsc in horticulture home science food science and technology veterinary science very important okay and some of the biotechnology courses like this number of courses so the students who have taken pcmb have more options means they can opt engineering or they can opt opt these are the following courses as well okay but now how exactly exam will be conducted okay here so now for example i have a, a cs students who's uh, who is concentrating only to go for the engineering so for that student okay so they'll going to consider physics chemistry maths aggregate marks of second p means so in second p you will going to write kannada english physics chemistry maths and cs right okay so for the pcm student who is writing karnataka cet how ranking will be allotted i am explaining so here the pcm marks of your second pu is taken into consideration and the cet exam that you're going to write that is physics chemistry maths so these three subject you're going to write no and that marks will be taken into consideration so they're going to consider both the marks and they're going to start allotting the rank so based on that one okay where your kannada marks will not play any role but for overall percentage kannada and english plus are very important and english is compulsory that you know okay next for the pcb students so the students who have taken pcmb okay they can opt engineering they can opt the remaining subject as well 
okay so for example if they want to join engineering courses the same rule is applied here they're going to consider pcm marks okay and even pcm cet okay but if they don't want to go engineering they have one more option option like they can opt these career choices okay so for that they're going to consider pcb marks physics chemistry bio of your theory what the exam second period exam you have written and the physics chemistry biology cet marks okay so this is what they have written okay they combine these marks and they'll start allotting the ranking according to that so this is like a, a brief part of karnataka cet exam how exactly it will be conducted so about the exam see usually that exam is going to take place for two days okay two sessions will be there so physics chemistry maths and bio bio and maths will going to take on one day by making it as a two sessions they are going to conduct okay so each session will be for 80 minutes okay that is one hour 20 minutes you're going to write okay and there will be a 60 marks like 60 questions will be there each question will carry one one mark okay 60 questions and the 60 marks okay no negative marking will be there okay so bio for 60 marks 80 minutes maths for 60 marks 80 minutes similarly for physics 60 marks 80 minutes chemistry 60 marks 80 minutes like that okay so physics 60 marks as i told so those who are writing only pcm they can write and they can go at time they can write the exam okay those who want to take even both the options those are, those who are like a pcmd students they have to write physics chemistry maths as well as a bio so this is about just a, a brief introduction or brief information regarding the Karnataka CET exam. According to this, you have to plan. Okay, fine. I hope you find this video very useful. Okay, so for more information, you just follow my videos. Thank you so much.